of the president's budget is going to be released uh, next Thursday, uh, March 9th. Uh, but clearly, the president uh, remains committed uh, to uh, to fighting for paid leave and child care policies. That is something clearly he fought very hard for it uh, in the beginning of the year as we were trying to move forward uh, with uh, that piece of legislation. And so, and we believe uh, fighting for uh, uh, what I just mentioned, paid leave and, and child care, is going to help grow the economy. It's going to help give American families and Americans across the country a little bit of a breathing room. But again, I'm just not going to get ahead of, of the president's uh, uh, of the president's uh, budget that will be out. Uh, next week, there's going to be a. Uh, it's going to. Go, it's going to go into a steady and stable growth, and sometimes there'll be some up and downs. Right? We have been very clear about that. I think the last uh, uh, Brian Deese's last briefing, he actually laid that out for all of you. Look, the way that we see it, and the reason why we feel very confident in this, is that the president's economic agenda, the way that we see it, uh, and others have as well, is that it's it's uh, it's making progress uh, to bring inflation down. You have uh, inflation that's down by 30 percent from last summer, uh, but we always understand that there's more work to do. Uh, the whole, and we also understand that the way that we got here is because of COVID-19. It's because of Russia's war against uh, Ukraine. All of those things have disrupted global energy, food supplies and cause inflation to spike around the world. But the president is going to continue to do everything that he can to lower costs. You're going to see his uh, March 9th budget in less than a week at this point. He, we lowered, uh, we hit, we helped to lower gas prices by a buck 60. It is now at a, by a buck 60, 60 a gallon from its peak from Putin's war. Uh, the real wages are higher than they were seven months ago. And so we're going to continue to do that. Let's not forget uh, when we, when we think about the, 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 um, uh, the pieces of legislation that were passed under this president, uh, capping uh, insulin uh, by 35 bucks uh, per month for seniors on Medicare. Those are the things that matter. Now we see farmer companies like Eli Lilly doing doing the same, but for all Americans, capping at 35 bucks. Those are the things that we're going to continue to work on to lower uh, to lower uh, uh, costs for people. And uh, and so again, you're going to see the president's budget next week. But the data the data shows us how inflation is has been moderate moderating over the last six months, and we think that's important to speak to. It's been, yeah. I would say, rather sticky. Well, and that's why we say we have more work to do. We're not saying that we don't have more work to do. We say this every time we talk about inflation, every time we talk about the economy, we say that there's more work to do. That's why the president takes extra steps, uh, like the IRA, uh, takes extra steps to make sure that we bring down costs for the American family. But. It, the data shows it has indeed moderated, and so that's what we look at. That to your to your question, original question, that what gives us um, some encouragement uh, that uh, that we will get to that st steady and stable uh, growth. Uh. Greetings, friends! Happy Friday to all of you. I have crazy news to share with you this afternoon. Top lawmakers, including Senator Joe Manchin, are now discussing the future of Social Security. A new group of Republicans and Democrats are eyeing significant changes to monthly benefits. Many are now warning that if Congress does not pass new legislation very soon, millions of Social Security recipients will face automatic cuts to their benefits. My friends, please do me a big favor and watch until the end of this video for all of the new details. Also, to say thank you for being part of this community and for being here every single day, I will be announcing two winners in a video later today for the Walmart gift card giveaway. If you'd like to enter the weekly giveaways, simply click and like several of my videos and then comment below the keyword of each video that you watch. The more videos that you comment on, my friends, the greater your chances of winning the giveaways. A bipartisan Senate duo is working on a package of changes to Social Security. This comes as President Biden pummels Republicans on the issue ahead of his expected re-election bid. Senators Bill Cassidy, a Louisiana Republican, and Angus King, an independent from the state of Maine, are leading an effort aimed at bringing the parties together to preserve and protect the retirement and security of all Americans now and long into the future. Bill Cassidy and Angus King said, the Social Security Fund will be insolvent in less than a decade. The Social Security Trust Fund is solvent until the year 2034, and this is according to a trustee's report. 
after which benefits will be reduced to 77% and then decline to 72% in the year 2096. The two senators offered some specific possible solutions on Friday while steering clear of some of the biggest challenges. It is far from clear whether the two senators will be able to agree on a solution that can get broad support in the Senate, let alone pass Congress and then get signed into law. Currently, the two parties are far apart on how to deal with Social Security, with Biden and Democrats calling for new revenues to fund the long-term shortfall and enhance benefits, while many Republicans push for reducing spending in the long run. President Biden has used the issue to attack Republicans who have in recent years proposed a variety of cuts, such as raising the eligibility age of Social Security, hoping to turn seniors who strongly support the program against the GOP. The big issue has become wrapped up in the debt ceiling debate as House Speaker Kevin McCarthy calls for spending cuts, but he hasn't identified what to cut and has insisted that Medicare and Social Security should not be on the table. In a bill to avert default, Democrats are demanding that Kevin McCarthy show a plan, saying his demands to balance the budget are impossible without retirement cuts or taxes. Senate Democrat Joe Manchin has also recently emphasized that he's not going to discuss cutting Social Security and Medicare, but has suggested that Congress may have to look at whether there is a better program to use to make the benefits sustainable for future generations. Senator Manchin noted that if Congress doesn't do anything to make the entitlement program solvent, recipients will face automatic cuts. So dear friends, what are your thoughts about these proposals? Please let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. Now other social security checks for March are scheduled to go out soon. Beneficiaries will continue to see bigger benefit checks and that's thanks to 8.7% cost of living adjustment for 2023. Social security payments are distributed according to the same monthly schedule with payments going out on the second third and fourth Wednesdays of each month. So if you receive Social Security before May 1997, or if you're receiving Social Security and SSI, then you should have received Social Security on March 3rd and your SSI check on March 1st. The next deposit dates for Social Security are March 8th, March 15th, and March 22nd. Last year's 5.9% COLA had done so little to help seniors deal with the inflated cost of living. Although seniors have received a boost to their monthly benefits, a current survey from the Senior Citizens League found that 50% of older consumers remain unconvinced that the 8.7% COLA will keep pace with rising costs this year. If Social Security checks are not adequate to cover basic living expenses, friends, you may also qualify for supplemental security income. The SSI program sends monthly payments to adults and children with a disability that prevents them to work. SSI recipients must meet financial qualifications. SSI is also available to those 65 years and older with limited income and limited financial resources. Well, my amazing and beautiful friends, that is the end of my daily stimulus update video for this Friday afternoon. Thank you so much, friends, for being part of this community and for joining me here every single day. I will be announcing two winners in a video later today for the Walmart gift card giveaway. All you have to do, friends, is click and like several of my videos and then comment below the keyword of each video that you watch. My friends, the more videos that you comment on, the greater your chances of winning the weekly giveaways. Thank you and have a wonderful and very blessed Friday.